Number one, you're not getting enough sleep. Sleep is imperative for not just our cravings and you know, did you know studies show that if you get less than six hours of sleep per night, you're 55% more likely to become obese. All right, so getting at least seven to nine hours is recommended. And I actually just read a research article that was published March 2019 where they took women and these women were healthy women having at least seven to nine hours of sleep per night. And in just one night of 33% of a third less sleep for each of those women, and they had some like fancy schmancy thing that they did to measure their sleep amount. They, in just one night, found they ate more chocolate, <laughs> they had increased cravings, significant increased cravings, significant increased portion sizes, obviously significant in increase in fatigue, in stress. What other things did they measure? Of course, not getting enough sleep is not going to be healthy for the long term and it's really going to affect the way that we uh, look at snacks and make us want to eat more of them. So if you're not getting enough sleep, something to really, really prioritize is that. And if you know that you didn't get enough sleep, if you're not getting enough sleep, I will just say, yeah, have a little bit of caffeine in the morning. That's going to help negate the cravings. And um, But obviously, any kind of caffeine is not going to mask what importance of sleep like sleep really does dial in our memories it makes it so that we prevent alzheimer's it makes it so that we can be more focused more productive just feel better right caffeine can't do all of the magic that sleep can do for us so be sure to sleep that's why that's number one it really is the most important number two throw it out the window if you are eating Takis and Fritos and Funyuns and potato chips and donuts, throw that shit out the window. Even if you're like three bites in, bye. If that stuff is making you feel like shit, whether it be, you know, other things in your life, whether it be a man, that makes you feel like shit. If it's making you feel guilty, if it's making you feel sad and gross about yourself, bye. Like, we don't want that in our lives and we, you know, no, nothing outside of us should have that power to make us feel like crap. And if you're just eating all these pro processed packaged, absolute crappy, crappy foods that make us like crave more and it just has this shame around it, like really vibrant, healthy, happy, successful, beautiful, incredible, like really healthy people, they're not sitting around eating a bag of potato chips for a meal, right? They're not. They have healthy snacks and healthy things put out in for them that they're excited about that also have that like saltiness or sweetness or whatever it is that you're craving that doesn't make your stomach hurt and that doesn't give you like a headache and that doesn't make you want to take a nap and feel like you just feel like crap so throw it out it's not a waste put it in the trash can throw it away maybe save the environment and don't throw it out the window put it in the trash we don't need it okay so do yourself a favor and get rid of those snacks that you're really like feeling like you feel guilty every time you eat it not necessary to have in your life number three feed yourself with primary food so food that we eat is actually secondary food I consider primary food things like relationships things that things that light us up what makes you excited what makes you feel like so excited to get out of bed in the morning like what are you passionate about maybe reading about something you're passionate about or calling a friend calling a loved one maybe you just need some some touch some connection maybe you need a hug like a hug is primary food okay so really think about what let's fill up your love tank like fill up your excitement tank fill up your passion in this life okay so really think about what could you possibly do for yourself to fill up your primary food and feel so satisfied holistically in other aspects of your life all right and that brings me to number four which is to meditate to take a deep breath <sighs> ask our body what it needs mm, maybe go outside maybe go for a walk just know that whatever challenge comes up for you whatever overwhelm whatever stress whatever sad thing happened know that you are so 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 capable and strong enough of sitting in those feelings and not numbing the pain not numbing the discomfort with food so i know that food is super emotional and especially these like really these snacks that we crave of course they are going to 
raise our feel-good hormones because our brains yeah it's like our brains are designed to want to eat foods that are really really highly dense with calories and are really really sweet it's just for survival right so um our brain is going to release feel-good hormones and stuff when we eat things that are like really hyper palatable like those concentrated sweetness and the oily foods the fatty foods our brain is like more 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 so instead of numbing ourselves realizing that this is not what we need to handle the situation and feeling like so 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 much belief in yourself that you can overcome this uncomfortable feeling without numbing it in another way taking a deep breath calling a friend whatever it is that you need to do you don't have to escape with food okay um, meditate and the next one was hydrate hydrate number five did you know that our thirst and hunger signals can be confused maybe instead of being hungry you're actually just thirsty a lot of busy people out there are not drinking enough water making sure your pee is a clear to lemonade shade of yellow making sure your kidneys are happy and feeling good in your body but also yeah you really want to stay hydrated for a lot of other reasons for clear skin for energy temperature regulation and of course digestion there's a lot of other things about water that are absolutely magical i just um i think that a lot of people think that they're hungry but instead they're actually thirsty so be sure to get yourself a cute water bottle that you're excited about put some slice the cucumber in there make it exciting for you drink some tea I love herbal tea and maybe you're gonna be like wow I actually was just thirsty I feel so much better now and that's all you needed so if those things that we talked about making sure you're getting enough sleep feeding yourself with primary food throwing out that crap out the window that you really don't like and need and doesn't make you feel really good and you are meditating and staying hydrated and you're still being attacked by snacks hire a coach and you're like oh my gosh Katie stop your coach like why are you like stop accountability is everything like such a game changer to have somebody in your corner that you can talk to somebody in your corner to hold you accountable for really following through with decreasing your stress and your overwhelm on the day-to-day -day, providing you with practices oh my god there's a dog licking my ankle Sorry, I'm like <laughs> No, this is hilarious. Oh my god. I love it. We're in real life. This is real life <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. No, this is amazing. I, I like how this I'm gonna leave that in the video <laughs> This is like all part of my life. Okay, that was sweet. Thank you for the kisses puppy Um, What was I saying? I think oh, yeah hire a coach. Okay, so I hold people accountable for making sure that every single day they step into their day feeling excited, feeling like they have a plan, feeling like they have snacks that excite them, that make them feel like they're, they're set, they're satisfied, they're good, it's all set. And that brings me to number seven is eat the dang snack. Maybe you're just hungry. Maybe you're starving yourself in the morning thinking that this is productive and then later on you're eating all these snacks and you're like, oh my god, like I hate myself. Why do I have all these snack attacks? Maybe your body needs food. Young women out there, I know how active you are and did you know that our body temperature raises when, before we get our menstrual cycle? And this temperature raise raises our metabolism makes us need more food maybe you need like 200 to 300 more calories during that time maybe you had a really hard leg workout and your booty's like give me some damn calories bitch i need to grow what what like maybe you just need the snacks so take a deep breath every little thing is going to be all right i am so happy to be in touch i really hope this does help you overcome your snack attacks help you fight back and yeah, hit me up on Instagram at Vitamin Katie. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if, how this helped, what you're gonna implement in your life to reduce your cravings, to reduce your stress, to reduce your snack attacks, and to um, enjoy your life and have so much more fun in this life. So yeah, subscribe, comment, let's get connected. I have a free Facebook group. I would love for you to be a part of it. I'll leave the link to that as well down below. We got a really amazing community of incredible women in there. And that is enough talking for now. You're amazing. I'll see you in the next one.